Hallelujah, everyone. I bring the word of the Lord to us. We appreciate God for His mercy that has kept us for the first two months in the year, January and February, and bringing us to the month of March. Before we go, I want to quickly read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 6. I will read the first two verses. And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Verse 2, where we stop. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. I want to declare the word of the Lord that as we go in the month of March, the Lord will go with you. The hand of the Lord will go with you to sustain you. The person going with you in the journey of the life determine what happens in the month. If you go down the story we've just read, you discover that it got to a point in their life that the axe ad, edge fell into the water. But because there's somebody going with them that carries the presence of God, though they are men of God, though they are, they are sons of the prophet, but that does not stop the challenge. But the man that went with them into the month determined the situation, the outcome of the situation. In spite, despite the fact that the axe head fell into the water, his hand allowed the, the axe head to flow, flow again. I decree unto you that as you go in this month, doesn't matter the programs of the enemy. It doesn't matter how well they have strategized or they have planned it, but the Lord will go with you. And at your returning, it shall be with testimony. And it doesn't matter different places, different aspects of life where you have been put to shame. It doesn't matter what men has talked about you, but I want to assure you, there's an assurance for the, this month of March that the Lord will go with you. It will not be you alone as usual. In every area you have been doing it alone, God will go with you and at your returning, it shall be a major testimony. It will not be you alone. It will not be by your effort alone as usual. But God will go with you and you will come back with a major testimony in the name of Jesus. I commit you to his end and your returning shall be with testimony. But let me add this to it. God is ready to go, go with you, but you must be available for him. He's only ready to go with those that, are, that made themselves available. And how can you make yourself, make yourself available? It's by accepting the offer. And that's called to salvation. He called you to salvation first. So you must first come to him before he will go with you into the journey. And I commit it unto him as you yield to him. As you yield to his call, he will not leave you to handle the affairs of life alone. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and his mercy will keep you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.